Okay, first Blu-ray, I got the limited edition book type thing of nine, which I haven't seen yet. Can't watch it, it's on Blu-ray. <laughs> I'm waiting, if anyone's wondering, I'm waiting for a... I, I want a region free player, because I want the Criterions. Um, but I, I want them to go down. There are region frees available, but they're a bit expensive. And ideally the PlayStation 3 would be unlocked, but it's not. So this is the book. It's gorgeous. Look at it. Proper booklet with a DVD in the back. Gorgeous pictures. This is what I like. Yeah. The film looks very interesting, very dark. I won't show you every picture, but that's basic. And there's a little disc at the back. That's it, really. It's awesome. Look at that book. I love it. What a cool set. I think it was an HMV exclusive. I got it from HMV anyway. Then we got the awesome 500 Days of Summer starring Joseph Gordon Levett and Zoe Deschanel. I have no idea how to say her name. Uh, awesome film with an awesome soundtrack. Like a, a love story done in a unique way. Um, it's very, very good. Very, very, very good. Right. Um, it's still sealed. I didn't realise it was still sealed. Hang on. See, when you haven't got a Blu-ray player, <laughs> you buy Blu-rays, you have no reason to unseal them. So, yeah. Five hundred Days of Summer... And that is the digital copy. That's it. Cool. I prefer our cover to the US cover. Can't remember what the US cover is now, but I I like this because it's Joseph Gordon Levitt staring down at his T-shirt. What could be more awesome? And it's got the Smiths on the soundtrack. And then that Criterion I was talking about, Gomorrah. I watched this ages ago. I wouldn't be able to tell you what it was about for the life of me. It's about gangs and crimes. <laughs> it was good though. I liked it. That's why I bought it. Um, yeah, if I could be bothered to read the blurb on the back, I could, or read it before, I could have told you. But it came out in 2008 and it is, sorry, spy number 493. Um, it's a cool cover, isn't it? And yeah, Criterion do their Blu-rays just in the same case, which is cool because I love all the spines matching up and stuff, so... And there's the disc. And yes, it's got a proper book booklet, an awesome booklet with great pictures in. So this is the only Blu-ray that I have that is locked to Region A. And I can't watch it if I bought a player here, so... I need a multi-region and that's annoying because Criterion DVDs have always been region free so for their for their Blu-rays to be locked is very annoying this one is gorgeous I love this one this is Doctor Strange Love 45th anniversary special edition digibook I love these digibooks this is the only one that I've got but yeah as you can tell I'm buying Blu-ray now most of the not most of the time. For new films, definitely. And for awesome releases like this, yes. But even when I was like, oh, I can't imagine buying Blu-rays. Silly me. I saw these digibooks and they're totally my thing. So I need to get more of these. I'm working on it. But how awesome is that? Look at that. This is a brilliant film. Love it. Peter Sellers is awesome in it. I keep saying awesome, but it's true. So beautiful book. You get what what's not to like about these digi books? You get a proper booklet just built in to the packaging. I love it. Yeah. I think this is my favourite Blu-ray so far. And I can't even comment on picture because I haven't got a Blu-ray player, but packaging wise, these digi books. I really want the falling down one, that looks cool. Got this one so long ago, that's how long it's been since I've done an update. Inglorious Bastards. Love this film. Once again, I've not met a Quentin Tarantino film that I that I didn't like. So 
but this was just brilliant and here it is blu-ray disc and everybody's shown this everybody in the uk who does dvd blu-ray updates has shown this but you get some cool postcards slowly show you sorry if you can't see that those those ones there are awesome i love them and there's the film that's shown in the these are of the film that are shown in the film in that makes no sense at all the film that is shown in inglorious bastards and you've got a recipe to make austrian strudel so that's cool very nice little set what a film who doesn't want to be in the Nazi killing business? You know what I mean? This one here is I got this ages ago before Christmas. If you remember my Christmas update, I talked about getting a Blu-ray that I had to send back because there was like a lock in the packaging and you couldn't get the second disc out. So it's the Polar Express 3D. Oh, awesome. Look at that, I love it. I almost said awesome again, but I didn't. Um, this stick is annoying, it won't come off, I'm going to have to turpentine that bitch, but a very nice thing, you get four pairs of 3D glasses with it, see, I'm sure this looks lovely on Blu-ray, because it's a gorgeous looking film anyway, so yeah, that one and It's a Wonderful Life were the first Blu-rays that I ever bought. Okay, I bought Coraline on Blu-ray. The I ordered it from Play.com because it said it came with a lenticular slipcase. It's the 3D one with the 3D glasses. It came, it didn't have the slipcase as advertised, so I sent it back, told them they sent it back. It still didn't have a slipcase on it. Idiots. So I have, I'm, it's, I've got it in my house still because I can't be bothered to send it back. I'm just going to look for it elsewhere. But I can't find it for the life of me. It was here this morning and it's not anymore. So, sorry, I can't show you Coraline, but I do have it on Blu-ray. <laughs> now I've got some Disney ones. I've got Dumbo, 75th anniversary. Combi pack, as all the B Disney ones are. Um, I'm not going to open it because I'm actually looking for one with the slipcase, which means I'll have to send this one back. So, I don't want to unseal it. But the slipcase seems really rare. I haven't seen it in any of the shops. I have, but I do know there is a slipcase, so I'm still looking out for it. If you have any spare slipcases you want to send me, <laughs> feel free. I'll have them for any film. <laughs> I'll just go and buy the regular film then. So that's Dumbo. What a film. Got it on DVD. I'm sure it looks lovely on here. And these were in the buy one get one free on Amazon and all over the place at the moment. So I've got Bolt as well, and for the same reason I'm not unsealing it, because this is hideous. Look at this, with the blue outline, I hate it. But the slipcover looks nice, and I want it, so I'm looking out for that. Call me sad, I am, I'm just obsessive collector, so that's staying sealed. And Pinocchio, got this on DVD with a slipcase, and it's such a lovely slipcase. I must have it on Blu-ray with a slipcase, so this is staying sealed until I find one with a slipcase as well. And then I got up. This is the four disc set. I love the cover to this. This is embossed, this balloon here. Such a brilliant film. I really love this film. It's touching, sweet. The montage at the beginning is very sad. And I've heard this looks gorgeous on Blu ray. And what I love about these Disney packs is they do have the DVD. And they know that most, you know, a lot of kids. You want to give the DVD to your kids because they don't have a Blu-ray player yet, so it's great for that. So we have disc one, disc two, um, regular DVD, and the bonus digital copy. All in this big, thick four-pack set. Very good. And then it had to be done. Toy Story 1 and 2 had to be done. These are still sealed. I, ha I These come without slipcases as well, but I got the slip. I acquired the slipcases, so that's awesome. And they look 
so much better. It's Toy Story 1. And it's, I'm unsealing it now because I have kept it sealed for that reason. It's Toy Story. Yeah. yeah, movie rewards they're doing now. Oh my god, I want that Woody. I love Woody. Oh my god, Ham Piggy Bank. I want all the toys. So yeah, I don't think we get a free movie ticket like you guys in America did. Fortunately, I've got an unlimited card, so it doesn't matter, but it's kind of annoying. Oh no, it's broken. Hope it fits back in. Yeah, it does. So, you get the regular DVD and the Blu-ray. No artwork on there. And Toy Story 2. I have to take these stickers off. Unsealing this as well. I've got special editions on DVD as well. The 10th anniversary editions. I never actually watched them, sadly enough. So, same deal here. And crap on the side. So happy with those. Toy Story. I can't wait for Toy Story 3. When I see the trailer at the cinema, I'm literally like, oh my god. It looks so good. So, there they are. Beautiful. Last but not least, I've got Cloudy with a chance of meatballs. And I'm being very quick because I've got 30 seconds left. 28 now. Lovely embossed slip case, slip cord. I haven't seen this film either. It comes, it's a combi pack as well. Got Blu ray there, DVD there, so I can watch it. Although I'm sure it looks loads better in Blu ray, but who cares? And that is my update. Can't get the stupid disc back in now.